In this video, we see the devastating consequences of a riot in Seattle. A Starbucks store stands as a stark reminder of the destruction, its windows and glass doors shattered beyond repair. The iconic neon sign also lies broken, and the interior of the shop is completely empty, stripped bare by looters. This incident wasn't an isolated event. In the wake of rising crime, looting, and rioting, several Starbucks locations felt compelled to shut their doors. This decision wasn't driven by a downturn in business, but rather a stark assessment by corporate headquarters. They deemed these specific locations unsafe for their employees, placing their well-being above any potential profit. A seemingly dramatic robbery at a Shell gas station in Duluth, Georgia, unraveled after police reviewed surveillance footage. Initially, Raj Patel, the employee behind the counter, during the incident, reported being robbed. He, he came first time, like uh, 30 minutes. Like uh, what, what, was his, what did he look like? Give me a description. What was he... Another employee, Danny Curtis, claimed he hadn't witnessed the robbery or the suspect. However, inconsistencies arose. A large sum of cash was found on Curtis and security footage revealed a suspicious detail. All that cash is yours. In my pocket? You just yeah. carry around cash in your pocket. Yeah. The robber was seen entering a hidden area behind the gas station and emerging with clothing that closely resembled what Curtis was wearing. Following these discoveries, authorities questioned Curtis, who reportedly confessed to his involvement. What, was your intention to do this by yourself? No, it was staged. But it was staged. The dude told you to do it. Both Patel and Curtis now face charges of making false statements and filing false government documents. Additionally, Curtis is charged with conspiracy to commit a felony, and Patel has an outstanding warrant for the same charge. Neither individual has yet entered a plea. Tacoma police released surveillance footage from an incident that occurred earlier this week at a convenience store on Yakima Avenue. The video shows a male suspect entering the store brandishing a knife. According to authorities, the store owner responded by drawing a larger knife in defense. The suspect fled the scene, but not before being captured on camera. Police credit the video footage with aiding in their swift identification and apprehension of the suspect. He was arrested and booked into Pierce County Jail, facing charges of harassment and robbery. Their excitement cackles in the air. Laughter erupts from the car, fueled by the thrill of their ill-gotten games. The trio debates their next move, their voices bouncing around the vehicle. Hunger pangs strike, leading them to speed towards the golden arches of a nearby McDonald's. A quick pit stop to fill their bellies. But fate, it seems, has a different menu in store for them. Little do they realize, the car they've acquired is no ordinary vehicle. It's a bait car. A cunning trap set by law enforcement to snare car thieves, opportunistic looters. Embedded within its shell are eyes and ears, audio and visual surveillance technology that allows the authorities to monitor and control the car remotely. And just like that, with a flick of a switch, the door slams shut, windows lock tight, and the engine sputters to a halt. Escape is an impossible dream. The driver, a flicker of recognition dawning in his eyes, speaks first. His voice, a stark contrast to the earlier jubilation, is a low, resigned murmur. He confirms their worst fear. We're in a bait car. Sirens wail in the distance, growing closer with each passing second. Officers materialize around the car, their presence a stark reminder of the consequences about to unfold. The couple in the front seat crumbles. The carefree laughter has vanished, replaced with a desperate clinging to each other. A silent goodbye, a stolen kiss before the harsh reality of their situation sets in. Hop out of the wheels. Keep your hands straight up in the air. Let me kiss. Let me kiss. Up in the air. Keep your hands up in the air. Get out of the vehicle! Have you got my phone in? Don't get the rest of the interaction unfolds in snippets. We hear the stern demands of the police, the desperate pleas to let go, the promise of a future together drowned out by the urgency of the moment. I don't think it's a joke. 
Yeah. You obviously do. I know. I just want to get my whip on a Christmas morning. Yeah. 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 It's a swift arrest. The entire drama, from stolen car to fast food dreams, playing out in a mere five minutes. Responding to a shoplifting incident at a Walgreens on a cold January day, Officer Connor Yelming encountered a woman who admitted to taking gloves and a hat. She explained she was homeless and facing the harsh winter weather. Do you have stuff in your coat right now? No. Okay. Employees said they saw you stuff stuff from your basket into your jacket. No, I just went and I just put all my stuff back because I was supposed to be my um, other half here and he never showed up. I just tried calling him actually. Okay, so if we search your jacket, we're not going to find any items? No. I'll give you an opportunity right now to take everything out. But it's going to be your one and only opportunity. If you take everything out right now, we won't even press charges, we'll just give you an pass. I think that's a fair deal. Otherwise, if there is something to file for you. All right, there we go. I don't have an ID. Okay, then we just need your information so I can get the for you. Jamie. J A M I E. Yep, M. Escape. S C A F E. S C A F E. F E. Do you have an address that you stay at? No. Are you working anywhere, Jamie? Yeah, it's just cold outside. I don't have any money. I just want to have a hat. I get it, but you can't be stealing it, okay? Do you have anything else on you? Just that and gloves. Because if they check cameras and they find anything else, then it's gonna turn into a theft charge. Okay. Instead of simply issuing a no trespass order, Officer Yeoming took a different approach. He recognized the woman's difficult situation and prioritized her well being over punishment. And you don't have any gloves or hats or anything? Okay. Can I give her your info then? Go ahead. This one's for you. This one's for you. Copy. This should be good. Yeah. We're good. Sorry. What? Um, yeah, if you come in the middle of the road, you have no trespass. So you can use the drive through but you can't use the store. Okay? You don't have hat or gloves? I'll buy these for her. Thank you, sir. Thank you. But don't, don't do this, okay? I know it's tough, but there's other ways. Call us for help, all right? But if you come back in here, you're going to get arrested. This incident highlights the importance of considering the underlying circumstances and exploring avenues beyond traditional enforcement practices in certain situations. Officer Hyelming's actions demonstrate compassion and a commitment to serving the community in a comprehensive way. On December 3rd, officers from the Franklin Police Department responded to a report of a burglary in progress at a shopping mall south of Nashville. The incident occurred around 8 p.m. with doors still open and customers present. Body camera footage shows officers arriving at a scene and encountering individuals smashing glass jewelry displays with what appears to be a sledgehammer. Authorities reported that during the incident, one suspect used pepper spray on an employee. Out the main mall. Get on the ground! A pursuit ensued within the mall, culminating in an alleged physical altercation between an officer and one of the suspects. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Ultimately, four individuals were apprehended in connection with an attempted robbery. According to the Franklin Police Department, this incident is part of a larger pattern of similar crimes. They revealed an investigation into at least five similar incidents across Tennessee and Arkansas in the past few weeks, leading to combined losses exceeding 1.5 million. This video shows the aftermath of an ATM theft. The footage does not depict the act itself, but rather the apprehension of the suspects. Authorities in Orange County responded to a report of the incident and were able to swiftly apprehend the individuals involved. The video concludes with the arrest, highlighting the importance of security measures and the effectiveness of law enforcement in holding individuals accountable for their actions. It is important to remember that crime is never the answer. There are always legal and ethical ways to resolve issues. If you are facing financial difficulties, there are resources available to help you get back on your feet. This video depicts an individual attempting to break into a business during the nighttime hours. The person approaches his storefront and examines the interior through the windows. After a brief pause, he returned with a concealed head and an object in his hand. He attempts to break the window with the object, but it sustains only minor damage. Startled, the individual flees the scene but stumbles due to an obstructive view and falls. He quickly regained his footing and disappeared from view. It's important to note that engaging in criminal activity can have serious consequences, and it's crucial to seek legal and ethical solutions to any challenges faced. Small businesses, particularly those handling cash, are susceptible to robberies, and this laundromat in South Memphis is no exception. Two masked men swiftly enter the premises brandishing firearms. With only one staff member present, the scene was tense as the intruders, completely covered, stormed in. The sight of one wielding a rifle heightened the fear. Though the incident was brief, the sheer terror experienced during such moments is unimaginable. For many, it would prompt serious consideration of seeking alternative employment. This video presents a confusing situation. Lacking the full context for a clear understanding, a couple, visibly frustrated, claims to have waited an excessive amount of time for their food, nearly half an hour. The employee delivering the order appears to be new and unsure of how to address their complaint. We've waited like 25 minutes for this food. What do you want me to do? I don't know, like, like work for Some enough? free juice or something. Yeah, like give us some free food or something. After the manager. I'm a new employee. No, but like, no, no, but we expect I'm something free. Yeah. The food for free or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, give us some free food. <laughs> you must think it's a joke. You want this food for free. The interaction quickly escalates. The couple demands some form of compensation, possibly due to the initial perceived rudeness from the employee. This in turn triggers a defensive reaction from the employee, further escalating the tension. The situation reaches a bizarre climax. When frustrated by the refusal to simply take the food, the employee resorts to eating their order himself. Zoom in on his face, what is he doing? <laughs> you think he wants to be playing games with me? <laughs> Wow. McDonald's. What? UK McDonald's. This is this is where Corona happened. The woman then leaves the car to address the manager directly, leaving her partner behind. We hear him erupt in laughter, perhaps at the absurdity of the entire situation. <laughs> Both parties come across as rather intense, making it difficult to determine who initiated the escalation or who is truly in the wrong. Perhaps a couple could have been more patient, and the employee could have shown more professionalism. Ultimately, this seems like a situation where everyone loses. A quick-thinking security guard at a Fullerton jewelry store on Harbor Boulevard is being hailed for his heroism. Our security guard did an amazing job. Uh, he saved the this past Wednesday afternoon, the guard intervened in a brazen daylight attempted robbery, possibly involving three armed suspects who arrived in a black sedan. While details are limited, with Fullerton police withholding surveillance video, witnesses reported a chaotic scene. The guard's actions apparently scared off the would-be robbers, with gunfire erupting and leaving bullet holes in a nearby pillar. All three subjects had masks. Uh, some of them appeared to be holding what seemed to be firearms. Uh, as they approach the business, the security guard for the jewelry store discharges fire. Thankfully, there were no reported injuries. The incident has led to a heightened police presence in the area, but many residents say they feel safe with a guard on a watch. So grateful he's asking if he was here today, and I was like, okay, I'm good. Coincidentally, the guard's annual performance review was scheduled for the very day he displayed his courage. And he was going to ask for a raise. Now we can't say no. This video serves as a stark reminder of the importance of situational awareness, particularly when using ATMs after dark or in isolated locations. 
The footage depicts a 57-year-old man using an ATM when he is approached from behind by an armed suspect. The assailant, wearing a black hoodie, brandishes a gun and demands money. The victim, understandably shocked and under duress, complies with the demands. It's important to remember that everyone reacts differently in stressful situations. While we can't definitively say whether the robbery could have been prevented, we can encourage individuals to be vigilant and prioritize their safety in such situations. A homeowner security camera captured a concerning incident at their machine shop. The video shows an unidentified male entering the shop and spending roughly 10 minutes browsing the contents. I'm still shaking. I mean, pretty uh, invading. Despite the presence of security cameras, the suspect appears oblivious to being filmed. He meticulously searches drawers and boxes, seemingly targeting high-value tools. Then it looks like he looked up at another monitor and thought he wasn't on camera and just to proceeded to run around for about 10 minutes. Adding to the unsettling nature of the incident, the homeowner couple was asleep just a few feet away inside a camper trailer parked within the machine shop. It's chilling to think that somebody was inside your home. Which it is our home. Fortunately, the suspect didn't enter the trailer itself, but their proximity to the sleeping couple is undeniably unnerving. Real scary, real scary, and love to catch him and, and put him where he belongs. This wasn't an isolated event. The same individual is believed to be responsible for breaking into a neighbor's garage and stealing a Jeep. Thankfully, law enforcement apprehended the suspect. This incident highlights the importance of security measures, even for seemingly secure locations like workshops. It also serves as a reminder to be vigilant and report any suspicious activity to the authorities promptly. Fast food restaurants can sometimes experience challenges due to factors like high volume, staffing limitations, and training needs. This can lead to customer dissatisfaction. The following clip demonstrates how quickly such situations can escalate. Similar to a previous clip, a customer enters the establishment expressing frustration concerning their order. This disagreement unfortunately escalates to a heated exchange, ultimately resulting in the employee striking the customer with minimal force. This action understandably triggers a strong reaction from the customer, who attempts to physically engage with the employee behind the counter. An off-duty police officer intervenes to control the situation, encountering significant difficulty in calming both individuals. The customer throws objects including wet floor signs, order holders, and trash cans at the employee before ultimately leaving the premises. The departing customer takes promotional signage with them, leaving law enforcement with few leads to identify them for further action. This incident highlights the potential for rapid escalation in customer service interactions and the importance of de-escalation techniques to avoid causing harm. While the contributing factors remain unclear, it serves as a reminder of the need for respectful communication and conflict resolution on both sides. This video depicts a concerning incident involving the armed robbery of an armored truck in Colorado. The footage shows several individuals armed with what appeared to be large firearms exiting their vehicles and approaching the armored truck. The driver, a female employee, is seen exiting the truck with a money cart while complying with the suspect's demands. The perpetrators swiftly gain access to the vehicle and remove a significant sum of money, exceeding $100,000 according to reports. This incident garnered widespread attention and prompted involvement from the Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI) in the investigation. The incident underscores the inherent risks associated with transporting large sums of money and the importance of robust bus security measures in such situations. While on assignment for a holiday crime story at a Home Depot, Brian Anton witnessed a shoplifting incident unfold. A man walked out of the store with an unpaid electrical tool, prompting employees to chase him into the parking lot. Did he just steal it? Driven by journalistic curiosity, Anton followed the man and filmed the events on his phone, intending to use the footage for his report. Did you just steal that? You just stole that? The suspect placed a stolen item in a truck bed and attempted to flee. Were you just walking out with that? But was apprehended by both store employees and Anton himself. It's in the back. Well, oh, he's, he's in there, he's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, the situation was resolved peacefully, and Anton obtained unexpected first-hand footage of for his news story. This incident highlights the potential for anyone to encounter crime in everyday situations. While Anton's actions ultimately aided in the apprehension of the suspect, it's important to prioritize personal safety and avoid actively engaging in potential dangerous situations. 
This video depicts a concerning incident involving the use of explosives in an ATM robbery. The footage shows individuals, their faces obscured, setting up what appeared to be explosive devices around the ATM in the pre-dawn hours. After a brief delay, the explosives detonate, causing significant damage to the surrounding area. The individuals then swiftly access the ATM and remove its contents before fleeing the scene. The incident raises significant safety concerns and highlights the destructive potential of explosive and criminal activities. It's important to remember that engaging in such activities is extremely dangerous and has severe legal consequences. This video illustrates a potential dangerous situation in a restaurant kitchen. The employees initially attempt to extinguish a grease fire with the wrong type of fire extinguisher, which can worsen the situation by spreading the flames. Next, they attempt to smother the fire with a lid, but their technique is ineffective and inadvertently increases the fire size. Fortunately, another employee intervenes with the correct fire extinguisher and manages to extinguish the flames. However, the video ends before the full extent of the situation is clear, leaving some concerns regarding potential smoke inhalation and the overall safety procedures followed by the staff. Authorities responded to a disturbance at a business on June 9, 2023 in the metro Atlanta area regarding a guy who was allegedly touching ladies without their consent. What's, what's he doing? Walking around grabbing their ass. Yeah, he's a rather ass. There he is. This dude's here? Yeah. Yesterday he was in here and a little girl reported, a little girl, probably nine, reported that he grabbed her butt. Yeah. And then we were looking for him, but he, he got out before we could get to him. And then today. See, uh, he just walked in. He about to do her. He, he about, just walked in. He's taking pictures of her. Yeah, he's taking pictures of her skirt. All right, yeah. Oh, well, that's a good, oh he's that's done. That's good. That's good. That's good. The cops tried to talk to Gary Moultrie after seeing security footage that confirmed his behavior. Move, move. He's coming outside. General merchandise. After Moultrie ran away, there was a chase through the garden center. Moultrie continued to avoid capture while claiming during the chase that he needed to help his daughter. I've got him at the garden center. Stop! Stop! Is, Stop! Is, my daughter is like right there and she needs some help. Now. Glasses, black shirt, camo pants, she black help. shoes. Now. He's running back the other way. All right, he's, go he's going back into Walmart. He's running around the garden center if I get someone else over here. Stop right there! He fought arrest and tried to shatter his phone in an attempt to destroy evidence, so police eventually had to use a taser to control him. Moultrie is a registered sexual offender who is presently seeking a resolution in his court case regarding allegations of sexual battery. This news report details a disturbing incident that occurred at a McDonald's restaurant in Manchester in 2014. Armed assailants entered the establishment and swiftly threatened employees before stealing money from the registers. The report emphasizes the impact on the workers who were forced into a back room while the robbery took place. Understandably, this traumatic experience led some employees to leave their jobs. This incident underscores the potential dangers faced by fast food workers who may encounter situations beyond dealing with standard customer service tasks. It highlights the importance of strong security measures and crisis response protocols for restaurants to ensure the safety of their employees. Similar to the previous video, this footage depicts an armed robbery at a McDonald's restaurant. The video shows a group of individuals entering the establishment and quickly taking control of the situation. Customers present at the time are seen evacuating the restaurant rapidly. The footage then switches to the back of the restaurant, where employees are forced to gather while the robbers access the safe and remove cash. Thankfully, no injuries are reported. This incident highlights the importance of prioritizing safety during such events. In most cases, employees are trained to cooperate with robbers' demands to minimize risk.
This video, shared by the Edmonton Police Service, shows a concerning situation that quickly escalated to violence. While the specific details leading to the altercation are unclear, it is evident that the situation spiraled out of control in a short amount of time. It is important to remember that violence is never the answer, and there are always other ways to resolve conflict. If you find yourself in a situation that is escalating, it is crucial to remove yourself from the situation and seek help from a trusted adult or by calling the police. Then we find ourselves in Lee County, Florida, where a man is shown on security camera from a Walmart apparently trying to kidnap a child. Deputies reacted to reports of an attempted kidnapping on December 29, 2023. They found out that a 64-year-old guy had tried to escort them away by grabbing the hand of a 4-year-old child. Thankfully, a family member stepped in and saved the youngster. The suspect, identified as Pablo Pintuelas Hernandez, had already fled the establishment by the time deputies arrived. But in less than an hour, the police found him at home and took him into custody to verify his identity. Earlier this month, the prosecutor dropped the first accusation of falsely imprisoned visiting a kid who was 13 years old or younger to misdemeanor violence. On February 14th, Pintuelas Hernandez is expected back in court. Employees at a local business discovered a break-in upon arriving for work. Security footage revealed an individual forcing entry through a window using a piece of plywood. The individual proceeded to check the cash register, which was empty, and did not take a tip jar left on the counter. They then moved through the store, but ultimately left without taking any merchandise. Notably, the individual also took car keys, but did not attempt to steal the corresponding vehicle. The purpose and motivation behind this incident remain unclear. Not every situation law enforcement encounters is straightforward. This video captures a challenging scenario involving a driver found unconscious in a bank drive through yeah. Miss. Hey, wake up. The body camera footage shows officers attempting to wake the individual, who exhibits minimal responsiveness. Determining the cause of their state, whether fatigue or potential intoxication, proves difficult. Come out of the car. Come on. Man. Come out of the car. Come on. Let's get her out. Come on. You're, you're fine. Step out of the car. Lakewood police. Despite ongoing efforts to rouse the individual, the situation becomes increasingly tense culminating in their removal from the vehicle. There we go. Come on out. Take her over there. Fortunately, the individual appears unharmed, allowing the officers to proceed. This incident highlights the complex and often ambiguous situations law enforcement can face. It goes beyond simply responding to clear-cut altercations and underscores the need for careful assessment and measured responses in uncertain circumstances. On May 18th, 2023, a horrific incident unfolded in the parking lot of the Hobbs New Mexico Walmart. A young employee, 24-year-old Jordan Ruiz, was leaving for his lunch break when he was shot. The event, believed to be a botched robbery, left the overnight shift worker critically injured. Despite other employees being present at the time, Ruiz succumbed to his gunshot wound after being rushed to the hospital. A Hispanic gentleman was standing right here, and my friend Jordan just walked up to his, like, went in front of him, and that guy kind of acted like he was looking at this car. That's why I was like, man, you're going to rob some one brave employee attempted to pursue the getaway car after witnessing the shooting, but retreated upon being threatened with a gun. The uh, digital caller advised that when the vehicle took off, they followed it, followed it down to the field, the route, it parked, and then took off again. I, I tried to chase it down, man. I just, I, I got so far before they stopped and they, they, they ended at me. I, I tried to take off the vehicle, so I heard you no know, shots, and then I looked out. And then I seen him like look over here like concerned and he ran and then I just heard him say they shot. So as soon as he said that, like I just chased him. Law enforcement personnel immediately secured the crime scene and began their investigation. They combed through surveillance footage not only from the Walmart but also from nearby businesses. 
searching for any clues about the shooter's vehicle. This meticulous approach led them to identify the car involved. A nationwide Beyond the Lookout Bolo alert was issued for the vehicle. This alert system proved successful when a deputy and a resident in neighboring Texas spotted the car. A high-speed chase ensued, lasting for 111 miles and spanning multiple counties. The stolen vehicle was eventually apprehended, leading to the arrest of three individuals, 18-year-old Zachary Baiza and two juveniles. Through extensive interviews conducted back in Hobbs, detectives were able to determine the roles of those involved. And what I'm here to do is give you an opportunity to explain to me uh, what took place. And the reason being is because Ray's putting it on you and I don't think that's true. The investigation revealed that one of the juveniles was the shooter, while Baiza acted as the driver. Although a 16-year-old girl believed to be Baiza's girlfriend was in charge, Baiza faced a multitude of charges in both New Mexico and Texas. But you're one of two things in this. You're a witness or you're a defendant. This is plain Jane as I can be about it, all right? You know how serious this is. This is a murder. This isn't... A just the stolen car was way bigger than that. You already know that. Somebody died because of some actions taken by these guys. These charges included first-degree murder, attempted armed robbery, larceny, possession of stolen vehicles, and additional charges stemming from the high-speed chase in Texas. As of the end of February, Baez's case was still ongoing in a New Mexico courtroom. A dramatic turn of events unfolded in Chicago's bustling Loop District on a typical Saturday morning. The scene erupted just before 11 a.m. at 1 North Wabash Avenue, right next to a CTA platform. This normally busy jewelry store became the center of a chaotic incident. Police lights quickly flooded the area, with crime scene tape cordoning off not only the jewelry store, but also parts of the nearby CTA platform. Security footage captured the events leading up to the confrontation. The video shows a suspect, clad in a red sweatshirt, casually browsing the store for about a minute before making a sudden dash towards the entrance. In a closer look at the footage, a disturbing scene unfolds. The suspect is seen smashing a glass display case. This act prompts a swift response from a store employee standing at the far left side of the counter. The employee reaches behind the counter and fires at the suspect as he attempts to flee. The chaos spills outside the store. Surveillance footage from outside captures the suspect stumbling out of the store, momentarily retreating back in to grab a small bag, before finally bolting up the CTA stairs. Thankfully, authorities were able to apprehend the suspect shortly after the incident. He was taken to the hospital for a gunshot wound and is reported to be in stable condition. The employee involved in the shooting is a lawful firearm owner, FOID card holder. But I think to just throw it all on the all on the responsibility of the business owners or the residences is really not the right way to go. And is currently in police custody while the investigation continues. At this time, no charges have been filed against a robbery suspect, but that is likely to change as the investigation progresses. Local resident Christine, who has lived in a neighboring building for 14 years, expressed her concern about the recent rise in crime in the area. She voiced her desire for a stronger police presence in the neighborhood. But the crime is just escalating and it's getting worse and worse. We had kids killed a few weeks ago. Now this armed robbery or at least a, a gun was involved at some point. Um, but it's, um, it's a shame. Authorities in New York City have unveiled footage depicting a bold armed robbery at a Gucci store in Manhattan. Surveillance footage captured the moment when two individuals clad in black hoodies, masks, and gloves entered the establishment located on West 14th Street. One of the perpetrators brandished a firearm, commanding everyone to the floor while they proceeded to pillage the store shelves. Law enforcement reports indicate that the thieves absconded with luxury items valued at over $50,000. This video depicts a theft at a Louis Vuitton store located in Kenwood Town Center, Cincinnati. The footage shows a group of approximately 15 individuals entering the store wearing ski masks. According to reports, the incident unfolded swiftly, with the suspects taking a significant amount of merchandise. Witness accounts indicate calls were made to emergency services during the robbery. As soon as we started walking back, they all ran in there and they started grabbing knocking stuff over and then ran out. And as soon as we had our back, Thankfully, no injuries are reported. It is standard practice for employees in retail situations to prioritize safety and avoid confrontation during robberies. 
Most merchandise can be insured, minimizing the justification for risking personal safety. The passage estimates the stolen goods value at nearly half a million dollars. This surveillance video captures a startling incident at a Starbucks location. The store appears calm initially, with two baristas behind the counter and no customers present. However, a moment of tranquility quickly transforms into chaos. An SUV plows straight through the store's glass front doors, careening forward until it collides with the counter and then swerves into the side wall. Fortunately, the baristas had just moved towards the back kitchen area, narrowly avoiding the car's path. Thankfully, no injuries are reported. However, the damage to the store is significant. The entire front counter lies crushed, and the storefront bears the brunt of the impact. The driver, apprehended by authorities, faces charges of driving under the influence DUI. Moving on to the Atlanta area, Georgia, on October 26, 2023, security footage captured an unfortunate altercation between two mothers inside a Walmart. The video shows Brittany George pushing a shopping cart with her two children. According to reports, another unidentified woman approached George and voiced concerns about her children's behavior. The situation escalated into a verbal argument, but the women eventually went their separate ways. However, the tension apparently wasn't over. Later in the video, George comes across the other woman again and throws a box of crayons in her direction. Unfortunately, the projectile struck the other woman's child instead. A Walmart employee attempted to mediate the situation, but the conflict intensified. Allegedly, George lunged at the woman and struck her in the face. Before the police arrived at the scene, George reportedly fled the store. Despite her disappearance, authorities were able to identify and apprehend her, facing charges of child cruelty and simple assault. George's court case remains unresolved as of this recording. He pulled the register down and this guy is tackling to me and I was trying to not to do that but he see he's pushing me. This blatant and violent robbery is caught on camera as two people try to overwhelm a cashier by overturning the cash register and beating him in an attempt to get money. He he put down like he dragged him. The other person he came and tackled me. When the clerk looked more closely, she saw that another client had quickly made his way out after witnessing the robbery. This made her suspicious. He fought back. Yeah, I fall back. What was going through your mind? Why did you try to fight back? I was scared and in the same time, I was angry, a bit angry. Before attacking from behind the counter, the criminals had already conducted two reconnaissance trips around the establishment. While the police disclosed that Hyde Park Market on River Street was not their only target that evening, the clerk becomes irate over the invasion of his family-owned business. Around 7 o'clock at night, an hour later, the same individuals are said to have struck a second establishment on Hyde Park Avenue on Monday, but they have not been apprehended yet. Even though the cashier was hurt, he is nevertheless thankful that things weren't worse. My life is more important than money. With the promise of anonymity for anyone supplying information, law enforcement is now asking the public for help in identifying the people shown in the surveillance tape. The least expected turn of events for tonight was stumbling into a perilous situation, let alone a full-blown robbery. Yeah, there you stand, stepping into a liquor store. Put yourself in that scenario. You observe a jittery gunman, visibly anxious. As depicted in the clip, he flaunts his firearm, ensuring everyone present knows it's loaded. Perhaps it's his first attempt, or maybe he lacks confidence. Regardless, encountering an uncertain gunman is everyone's nightmare. The outcome remains uncertain. It's one of those moments typically reserved for TV screens. But this time, there's no superhero swooping in to rescue. There's only this individual, the cashier, and a surge of adrenaline that none involved will easily forget. The reality is, such incidents can unfold anywhere, to anyone. You never anticipate what awaits, even during a routine trip to the corner store for a drink. The investigation into the armed robbery of the AT&T store located on Mall Road in Florence, Kentucky, continues to unfold. This unnerving incident involves the theft of a significant amount of merchandise described as street value gold, not cash like a typical bank robbery. I've taken in the offense or 200 iPhones. Security footage captured the crime. Two identically dressed men brandishing handguns can be seen forcing employees to the back of the store. While they were subdued, a third suspect arrived with multiple duffel bags and loaded them with stolen goods. Following the robbery, investigators are trying to determine if a car found in Clifton, Ohio is connected to the crime. In the area of Clifton and West McMillan, a vehicle 
involved in an armed robbery that occurred yesterday in Florence, Kentucky. Two men were questioned by both Cincinnati and Florence police officers, but no arrests were made at the time. The car was stowed away and the investigation is ongoing. This video serves as a stark reminder of the predatory nature of kidnappers and the importance of vigilance. In the footage, two men enter a shop and initially appear like regular customers. However, their true intentions are revealed when they spot an unaccompanied 11-year-old girl wearing a denim jacket. One of the men positions himself outside the store, seemingly waiting for the girl to exit. Once she steps out, he approaches her and engages in conversation. The video shows him attempting to convince the girl to accompany him. Thankfully, a woman who had noticed the man's suspicious behavior intervened immediately. Recognizing the potential danger, she approaches the situation without hesitation. Witnessing the interaction, she asks the man to leave and takes the girl under her wing, offering her safety. This incident serves as a heartening example of how vigilance and quick action can prevent tragedy and highlights the importance of looking out for vulnerable individuals in our communities. In a dramatic turn of events, a routine traffic stop for a suspected drunk driver escalated into a full-blown pursuit of a shooter. I know what y'all gonna do. I hold it. So I, that's why I said. You got your ID. What does that matter? Am I being detained? Oh, absolutely. You got an open bottle of liquor. I can cite you no, and arrest said, you. No, I said, am I being detained? Yes. Right, no. right, no. You got body camera that on? That body camera's on. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just asked him. He said he's being detained, so I need your ID. No, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear that part. While questioning the driver, officers were jolted by the sound of gunfire erupting from a nearby gas station parking lot. See? Now what? So now what? So now what? So now Where what? is that? Right there! So now what? 11 13 shot fired. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Detroit and Sons, we got a vehicle taken off. Responding swiftly to the escalating situation, officers abandoned the DUI stop and set off in hot pursuit of the shooter, identified as driving a blue SUV. Still trying to catch up to the car. We're going westbound Central. We're approaching North Cove, but it's past North Cove. Is this, there's a car here. That, 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 that might be it. 1113 is in pursuit of a vehicle outbound Central. With sirens blaring, a critical information network was established, relaying details about the vehicle and the unfolding chase. The pursuit proved to be intense, with the officers struggling to keep pace with a fleeing suspect. Despite the high speeds, the officers remained undeterred, even when the suspect fired multiple shots at their pursuing vehicle. Heading back. They're heading back towards the street right here. Undeterred, they courageously transition from the high-speed chase to a foot pursuit, their determined footsteps echoing on the pavement. Heading towards the lantern. I got no eyes, no eyes. The relentless pursuit eventually caught up to the suspect. He was apprehended hiding under a truck, still in possession of an automatic rifle. Shove it in hands! All the way out! Throw the out! Throw it out! Throw it to me! I got to cover you! Throw it to me! 
Here, cover, cover, cover. Hands behind his back, cuff him, cuff him, cuff him. The swift action by law enforcement ensure the safety of the community and put an end to the potentially deadly situation. This video shows the incredible bravery of a gas station clerk who played a vital role in stopping a kidnapping. The footage shows a young woman identified by her black skirt entering the gas station visibly distressed. Approaching the clerk, she reveals she's been kidnapped and pleads for help. The situation took a serious turn when she explained her captors, armed and waiting outside in a car, allowed her to use the restroom. The video shows the urgency of the moment as the woman grasps the clerk's hands, recounting her ordeal. Thinking fast, the clerk provided the woman with her own phone to call 911. For the woman's safety, the clerk then locked her in the bathroom. The clerk initially locked the gas station door, but in a clever move to lure the kidnappers inside, she unlocked it again. This tactic proved successful. The unsuspecting kidnappers entered the store, unaware of the trap that awaited them. Moments later, police arrived with guns drawn, swiftly apprehending the perpetrators. Thanks to the quick wit of the gas station clerk, the woman was rescued and the kidnappers were apprehended. Reports state the woman had been held captive for a day before her escape. This happened in 2020 and shows a woman strolling this Walmart store in the aftermath of the insane looting incident. It's pure carnage. Shelves and all were obliterated. Listen as the woman is clearly upset because she is unable to provide for her kids and is frustrated looters are using George Floyd's murder as an excuse to break the law. Every grocery store looks like this. Everything is either on the floor Look at this. Came in the store to try to buy something because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a thief. Look at this. In my hood, can't even get no food for my kids. Babies need milk. Can't even get nothing for my kids, bro. I feel like an animal, and black people made me feel like an animal. Y'all did this to us. This is not okay. For us to have to live like this, we do stupid shit like this all the time, and we so black proud. We so black and proud that we ain't gonna never be honest and be real about what's really going on. Y'all are so wrong for this. You came in your neighborhood. I'm not a thief. I'm not coming in this store and stealing nothing. Look at all this on the floor. Everything. Everything's on the floor. Tissue. We couldn't even find tissue less than two months ago, and now it's on the floor. Although Walmart is one of, if not the most successful store in all of the United States, there have been a lot of scary and strange incidents there caught on camera, one of which being this fire. Customers were left stunned and were evacuated out of the building. The cause of the flames is unknown. People of Walmart has been a popular series on the internet for years. Lots of interesting characters at Walmart, including this woman, who is definitely under the influence. It's clearly a struggle for her to walk normally as she is at self-checkout to pay.
Move your head. I don't want you in the video. Drugs are bad as this video proves. It's an epidemic that needs to be addressed. I just hope this woman gets the help she needs. What will you do if you were at your local gas station and saw a moose? Take a look at how customers react to the passing by creature. Fortunately, no one attempted to intervene and let the moose be. Which I would say is a smart move, wouldn't you agree? You might have seen this video on TikTok. This was everywhere. A man in this vehicle is seen transporting a TV in a Walmart parking lot, and the only hope that box on the roof has is the man's hand. It's unknown if the TV was stolen or if the man is just careless as most comments suggest. What do you make of this? In the earlier clip, we established drugs are bad, right? Well, mental illness can also be quite terrifying. Observe this angry man who is hurling alcohol at the floor. He sees he's on camera and hurls a bottle at the person recording. <sighs> Although this is scary, What's really crazy is how the employees didn't seem to take notice or action. I guess they might think they don't get paid enough, but still. Hopefully, they at least notify the authorities. In this chilling clip, a woman was simply shopping at her local Walmart before a sad middle-aged man began verbally abusing her. Take a deep breath. Right back at you, your medicine. You don't know who the f I don't give a sh Mind your f business, you understand me? Sir, what's the problem? Ask her. Ask her. I was literally not doing anything. Who oh, I'm <laughs> Leaving after this is all. Nope. Call, call PD. We're gonna call PD, but yeah. your behavior is not gonna be tolerated. Anymore. I don't give a sh Please have mind her f business and stay out of my f she doesn't know the, what the f is going on. I don't give a sh I don't give a sh I don't give a f rat ass No boost. You know what the fuck? Did you receive my contacts? No. My email? No. My best. Cops in here. I give. You know exactly what's going on, see? I know my contacts are lost, my messages, and my photos. I don't give a flying. I don't give a flying. My scout, Nike Delta scout, looking for the enemy here. This time, I'm undercover. Ha 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 ha! It's funny, huh? It's funny, huh? Pulling your covers, huh? Giving you a case of milk. Yeah, look at the facial expression now. Videoing me, keep videoing me, keep videoing me. They ain't gonna be alright. Mind your business next time. You know what the going on? You know what the going on? You lose all your photos, all your contacts, all your emails. Um, like five four one six five four one six five four one six 
Five four, five eight. Yeah, almost two, almost one, two shots. Cross one right The woman started filming the lunatic and there were attempts to escort him out of the store. The man, furious, demands the cops get called and insists the woman is lying. As the filming goes on, the man gets more enraged and is chewing out security. The woman appears to not know the man, nor does she understand what he's saying. Given how the man was acting, it's clear he's mentally unstable. At least he didn't physically harm one though, it was indeed a frightening situation. What would you do if you were in Walmart and this transpired? This happened in Florida and it shows a man entering a gas station store with an alligator. Apparently, this is normal in Florida, but I don't think it's quite right to chase customers and employees down with it like this man did. Observe. The man was clearly intoxicated and the following morning, he apparently didn't remember any of this. This was his idea of a joke, but this gives me it's just a prank bro vibes. Not cool. Although customers tend to be the culprit of store destruction, sometimes it can be an employee that snaps. This employee was having trouble opening the electronics cage lock, so he proceeded to grab a sledgehammer and went ballistic on the lock. Take a look. The customer recording gave some feedback suggesting bolt cutters might work better. The likelihood of there being bolt cutters in a Walmart is high. Timing was everything for this McDonald's drive through customer. He waits as the employee is getting his change and proceeds to jump through the drive through window. The employee walked away, and the crook took all the cash then proceeded to escape. Police body cam footage captures a truly disturbing incident. A woman who is employed by Walmart is questioned by authorities after she got in an argument with and wounded her co-worker. Sure, there's nothing that's gonna hurt us so that we can talk, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go check. All right, man, I'm on top. So what's going on today? Nothing. I was irritated. What were you irritated about? Yeah, for 203, you can clear. 
Yes, they went up for uh, being nailed yesterday. They did what? Yes, I was being nailed yesterday. Okay. What What did they do about that? Brought them forth. Brought you up? Okay. Yes. Did they fire you? No. No? Okay. Um. So what's the reason that you think the police have been called here today? I don't know. Because I haven't done anything. I, I just said a fr uh, frustration because I'm irritated. Right, what did you say to him? That I didn't say anything to anybody. Okay, so that they're saying that you, you threatened I wasn't to shoot threatened. people. No, I wasn't threatened for, him, for that at all. What did you say that maybe they misunderstood about? Because they don't understand me one bit. Because they even thought I was... Uh, because I was, I was sick yesterday, and they wouldn't let me go home at all. Okay. It's hard to be at work when you don't feel well. Yes. Yeah, we're going to go on to jail three. We need death left open then. All right. Um, Negative. Negative. Were you supposed to work today? I was working last night, yes. Okay, you Careful. work like the graveyard today? I'm on my way. I'll be there just a minute. Okay, and, all and so um, what time were you supposed to get off? Seven. Seven. Time is it? Seven fifty. Okay. What made you decide to, to stay in your car? I was smoking a cigarette because I don't smoke and drive. Okay. And I don't uh, drive while I'm irritated. It's probably best. You don't want to drive angry. Right. Right. Okay. Um. Do you have an ID or anything like that? Talk to her for a minute while. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you're kind of telling her this rental didn't say anything. Are we sure we didn't say anything to anyone about no. how pissed off you were, nothing like that? Oh, yes, I was pissed off. But okay. I wasn't saying that. I was saying out of frustration. Saying what? About what's done and everything. Okay. What did you say about it? Pop it off. But I was trying to, how I feel without me doing with the up uh, with the threat is to so how I want to put this uh, with me by yelling that's that's so I want to go uh post on but okay. by with me being frustrated. So if I understand correctly you're saying if you you believe that if you vent out your frustration it'll keep you from actually doing the action. Right. How long have you worked here? Since June of this year. It was like the 8th of June when I started. Have you ever been in trouble before with Tulsa Police or any other police department? Anything like no, that? No, speed. That was about it. Okay. I have no warrants for an arrest. Okay. The woman stated she was stressed due to being sick and not being able to leave. She tries explaining to the police she only had a weapon at home because she didn't feel safe. I personally don't buy that, but I'm interested in hearing what you make of this situation. There's no way around it. You need to go to a gas station in order to fuel your car. You can simply go to your local gas station, but in certain situations, you may have no other option than to get fuel in an unfamiliar neighborhood. This Karen would soon find out not every place is going to take her crap. The clip begins with a woman yelling at the individual recording to vacate the store. He keeps her recording in spite of this explanation. The woman was being racist and the saga continues. Watch this. She is, and that's why she's leaving, okay. so you will leave too. No, 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 no. This is going all on the internet, you don't know who I am. You told her to, you told her to go back to her country, where she's from. I didn't even touch you. That's assault. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where were you born, 
I was born in America. Where are your ancestors from? You're They're going. not from this country. You're going back to Mexico. You better go back you to where you're from. Me. You just, you just know. You just walked into. Just just oh, oh, wow. oh my See? God. Yeah, you deserved it. Oh my God. In my opinion. Yeah, you you pushed her and she smacked you. That was uh, self defense on her part. Oh, she grabbed me. Nope. Please, 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 please. The Karen proceeds to put her hand on the woman's arm and receives a well deserved slap across the face. They both walk away as the man keeps filming. It's unclear what started this argument, but we all saw how it ended, and it sure was satisfying. We always say here at Fear Tales to stay vigilant. And this clip shows exactly why. Two teenage boys at this gas station exit their vehicle and split up going after different vehicles. One owner was at the pump and the other was shopping inside the store. The woman at the pump chased the thief but wasn't successful and the other came out a little too late. The woman at the pump not only had her purse stolen but also her keys, leaving her stranded at the gas station. They came back for the woman's vehicle and also stole that. To my knowledge, the thieves were never caught. It's not just customers that steal from Walmart and other stores. Sometimes the employees can be guilty of this too. In this video, a manager had this employee leave her register with authorities present. The purpose of this was to confront her for stealing cash from her register on several occasions. They initially examined her pockets and find nothing. However, she is given photos that support their claim. In spite of this, she stands on business and claims she didn't steal anything. So, uh, they got you on camera, basically taking money from the register, putting it in your pocket. Money? Where? Yeah. They got you on camera. Nothing. Would you be able to empty out your pockets? Okay, I'm going to have you... Five, 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 place your items right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you turn and face the wall right here. I'm going to pat you down. So here's the times that I guess you were taking it uh, the other days, right? The other days? Okay. <clears throat> Because y'all was looking, looking for something. So you're going to listen to what this gentleman's going to tell you uh, to do right okay. now, okay? Uh, how, how can I know it, what happened okay. if I'm, well, it looked like I'm taking money out of the drawer? I'm just letting you know. It's all in the video, okay? So... Okay, can I go home? I didn't steal no, shit. Like, I'm not even from out here. No, don't touch me. I gotta get my shit. What's up, man? Give me your hands. I didn't do anything. You did I did a fact. I showed I asked y'all politely, can I go in the back and get my thing? I just gotta make sure there's no weapons. Ain't no weapons, ma'am. So you think it is? Yeah, I do. I'm young. I'm 20 years old. Okay. I like to party. I like to... Yeah, but this shit's legal. Okay, I don't give a okay. Y'all can throw them away. Y'all got my real ID. I don't think you understand that you're under arrest. I don't give a you. Okay. Hope that's recorded. She resists arrest and things got heated. Stolen money was then found in her bag along with fake IDs.
I used to work at a gas station and I always feared someone would be stupid enough to do what the man in this footage did. Luckily, it never happened on my watch. But whoever was the attendant on this shift wasn't so lucky. Watch what happens when this man thought it'd be a good idea to light a cigarette while in the car. The vehicle erupts in flames and the man can be seen exiting the car. Before things could get worse, attendants burst onto the scene with fire extinguishers and put out the flames. Believe it or not, the man suffered no serious injuries. This is a reminder that if you need a cigarette, wait until you get home or just get away from the gas pumping area. This Whataburger had a strange incident occur as this man passed out shortly after placing his order. Authorities were notified and this happened. My team leader was taking the orders and I kind of heard him like slurring, you know, and she was trying to get him to like repeat his orders and we couldn't hear him. So I started yelling at him because he was not answering. He was asleep when I got up there. Hey brother, Albuquerque police. <laughs> Albuquerque police. Hey man, you doing okay? Something was clearly off as cops confronted him as you see him stumbling. Again, I am Officer Tadoni with the Albuquerque Police Department. I am a police officer with the Albuquerque Police. I need you to step out of the vehicle. Come on. Go ahead and take off your seatbelt for me, okay? I'm not going to. Listen, listen, I'm not going to ask you again. Let's go. Let's go. Take off your seatbelt. Get out of the car. I'm Officer Tudoni with the Albuquerque Police Department. Listen to me. We got called by the management here at Whataburger saying you fell asleep in the drive-thru. Okay? You had open bottles of alcohol in the vehicle and your car was on. So you were... No, I, I, I okay. don't understand. Right back over here where my partner is. I, I, I don't understand. Back over here. I don't understand. Well, we're going to explain it to you. Matt, I, I was Matt. not trying to drive the car. I mean, oh, oh, uh, are you okay? Sorry, no. Authorities examined the car and found countless bottles of whiskey, which explains a lot. What's crazier is, this isn't the man's first offense. Why? I'm asking. Do you want to take it? Okay. Who says all Canadians are friendly? This clip shuts that stereotype down real quick. Watch as the person in this truck yells at Tim Horton's drive through workers regarding an espresso order. The individual receives his coffee and drives off in rage, leaving the clerks and the person filming stunned. What begins as a normal exchange at a McDonald's drive thru the man in his vehicle hands over his credit card before three masked and hooded men emerged out of nowhere, seemingly using the man's car as a shield to get to the window.
The man smartly drove off, wanting no part in this. After he leaves, the crooks hop through the window and took the cash before making a beeline through their getaway vehicle. What a crazy situation. Check out this situation where two men were caught in the crossfire. The cause of the fire was so puzzling that it opened an arson case. It is odd how after a sudden burst, the two men nonchalantly walked away. Many speculate the men were attempting to destroy evidence. You agree? Let me know in the comments. Theft has been a major issue throughout some stores for quite some time. This woman is one example. A cop yelled for her to return to the store with her card. She apparently was caught on security camera footage stealing items, including purses. They make it known to her she'll go to jail if she doesn't comply. But she still insists on bickering with them. Excuse me, ma'am. Come back inside the store for me. Bring your card. Bring, bring your card. Come back inside the store. I don't want to embarrass you in the parking lot. Bring, bring your card. Come back inside the store, please. Okay. Thank you. All right, go ahead and pull your card up over here for me. Okay, so what is y'all talking about? What, okay. what is it? Because it's too strange. Do you have an ID on you? No, no. If you want to leave out of here, you're going to change stop, your attitude. Stop, stop, I, stop, stop. If you want to leave out of here, you're going to change your attitude. Okay. If not, I'll just take you to the county because I really don't care. I don't go to jail. You don't? Because you what can't I'm today. What I'm telling you is I, I don't go to jail. I don't have a record. But what I'm telling right, you Right, but what I'm telling you is today what you can I make your way to the county. What did I make? Number one is this purse with? and also the clothes in this cart that you bagged up at the register. Just tell her to put well, my, my money back no. on my card. Hold this. I have never, never been called. Been Excellent. No, not been called. You're being called Yes, I am. Have well, a I'm seat. No, you're going to have a seat. And I pay for everything else. My soda bar, my okay, pen. that's fine. So they're going to okay, go so through the card. Okay, so you want me to pay for the pennies, swipe my card. <laughs> I know. I said oh, put go it ahead and go ahead and just refund me my money back and I'll go somewhere else. Because what I want to do, don't bump me, ma'am, because I didn't, I told you I didn't do nothing. To stop and have a seat. Okay, I am going to have a seat. Stop, I'm going to take you to the ground. So get off me now. You don't want your mind. What is your name? Have a seat. Why are you me on my face? Have a seat. Yeah, refusing to comply. Okay. Uh, no, trying to put her in cuffs. Wanted to keep pulling away. Okay. Tried to walk out of the away. office. Ma'am, listen to me. If you don't stop, we are going to hobble your feet. That means that we are going to take this I mean, cord and I lock your feet together. Go okay? Go the jail is 10 go minutes away. Flow. You can sit back here for 10 minutes. The bickering escalated as she uttered numerous insults to the cop. Unfortunately for her, there was a pile of evidence against her and that landed her in a jail cell for the night. This woman and security guard had a disagreement that escalated as it went on. The security guard takes out a weapon and the woman uses her car as one. Watch and see what I mean. female out here she's trespassed off the property she has been she's parked in my driveway holding my line up he just hit my car with his little nightstick knocked in my window i'm about to 
to hit him. Okay, don't just stay in your car, okay? I'll get an officer out there. Stay for me. <laughs> I can I hit him? Please stay for me. Can I hit him? The woman strikes him as you see here. What a crazy situation. This video captures a terrifying situation, which should have been a routine turned into a wild high-speed chase. The woman driving had her young one in the car, which makes things a lot worse. What's extremely baffling is the woman went to a gas station as if nothing happened. Take a look. I can hear you. I need driver license insurance, please. I can't hear you. I need your window down. I do have my camera on. Can I have a driver license insurance? You don't have it on? I do have it on. Can yeah, I have a driver license insurance? I'll call my supervisor. Can you call me? Can I have a driver license insurance? Okay, I'll get one out here for you. Okay. Can I have a driver's license insurance? Yeah, I do have it on. You have a driver's license I get that, but the quicker I get your license okay, insurance, the quicker we can right get out of here. Okay. The quicker I get your information, the quicker we can get out of here. Okay. Thank low. you. I'll be right back. Okay. Do you want me to call an ambulance for you? Would you like me to call an ambulance for you? Okay. Would you like me to call an ambulance for you? Trying to get out of the car. She's elbow. not getting out of her passenger daughter. Is trying and to help my daughter, I'm not going to get out of this. I'm not contracting with you. No, let, let go with me. I'm not get getting out of, out of my car. I'm trying to get her food. And, and I was I, driving I, the I same speed limit it, as everyone I else. It to you. You as took as my license the and you were. You'd be good to go. I'm not doing that. I was going to write a quick citation. You were going to be good to go. D dude, my daughter. Okay, I'm asking you to let go of my arm. I'm asking you to let Got go. Right now. Please let go. No, ma'am. I'm not letting go. You're okay. going to get out of the vehicle. I'm not getting out. You're getting out of the vehicle, ma'am. The officer catches up to apprehend the woman. She resists arrest and a struggle ensues. The woman is diabetic, the woman claims and she refused to let go of the wheel. It takes two cops to get her out of the car. Got a feel for the young one in the back. Houston police came to this jack-in-the-box and see themselves in a terrifying situation. A pregnant woman wounded by an armed robber in the drive through The woman is serving the man before he whipped out the weapon on her. He demanded the cash, but the woman didn't comply as she ran for her life. The robber wasn't happy, clearly as he wounded her in spite of being pregnant. Tragic and horrible situation. Condolences to the woman and her family. 
This hooded man is seen crouched behind a vehicle with some cruel intentions. Watch what he does next. He caught the driver off guard as they were going to the ATM and that's when he struck. This is why I get a withdrawal inside the bank from a teller. It's essential to be aware of your surroundings. You never know when you might find yourself in a threatening situation. This Miami clip is proof as a woman sitting in her white car is confronted by a man who was passing by. The man walks up to the woman and drags her out of her car. He attempts to drive off with a pump still inside the car. It appears to slow him down momentarily, but he ultimately drove off in the end. This is why here at Fear Tales, we always end the video saying stay vigilant friends. It might help in situations like these. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant friends.